Hello, James with you on Cowkine TV. For the early trades, great to have your company. Let's get stuck into our market open commentary. The S&P ASX 200 is up today, gaining 0.85% at the time of writing. The top performing stocks on the ASX are Champion Iron, up by 6.9%, and PointsBet, which is up by 5.79%. Over the past five days, the index has gained 0.76% but is down 2.79% for the year to date. With that said, let's now take a look at some of the stocks which are making a buzz today in the opening session of the ASX. One of Australia's leading healthcare companies, Helios, has reported more difficult market conditions in the second half of the financial year following a strong first half of trading. The company announced that it's unaudited underlying earnings before interest and tax for the year to date, up to May 2022, is in the order of $473 million, citing ongoing market volatility and a range of broker forecasts. This represents an increase of more than 100% on the unaudited underlying a bit of $234 million for the same period in the 2021 financial year. Moving on, and developer and explorer of gold projects Emerald Resources NL has referred to its previous announcements in relation to its recommended and unconditional takeover bid for all the issued shares of Bullseye Mining. Emerald has increased its voting power and direct equity ownership in Bullseye to 58.79%. Emerald has today resolved to extend the closing date of the offer for the final time to Friday, the 17th of June, 2022. Also trending today is Adore Beauty Group. The cosmetics leader has recently appointed Lisa Hennessy as an independent non-executive director, effective as of June 3, 2022. Ms Hennessy's appointment completes the board renewal process as outlined to the ASX in November 2021. Following Ms Hennessy's appointment, the Adore Beauty board now comprises a majority of independent non-executive directors. Hennessy is currently lead independent and non-executive director of ASX-listed Nitro Software and a non-executive director of Clean Space. Shares in Adore are down more than 67% on a year-to-date basis. And lastly, workforce management and staffing company People In announced that it has entered into an agreement to acquire 100% of the shares in FIP Group for an upfront consideration of $45 million. FIP is a workforce solutions business that is one of the largest providers of staff to the food sector in Australia. The acquisition increases people in participation in the food industry and the company said it cemented its position as the largest ASX listed recruitment and staffing company in the country. Alright, that's all for this edition of The Early Trades, another episode coming your way on Monday. Until then, make sure to keep it locked here on Kalkine TV for the latest market insights and business news. I'm James Preston, reporting for Kalkine.